and hello my nerds and nerdettes this is the first part this is just a video of custom marvel 1602 characters but this is specifically characters that didn't show up in the um episode some were mentioned like black panther ego and hawkeye but the other two black widow and moon knight were not seen in the episode just like at all and um yeah we'll just get to it now we're just gonna start with ego the torso and legs are from an obi-wan kenobi minifigure specifically the one from the um space jet thing and um yeah then we're gonna add a like pouch thingamajig don't really uh, a satchel with a per and a blue power piece then we're gonna add the general zod head and this some um, lego batman movie commissioner gordon head hair yeah so basically ego was mentioned and he was specifically an island and i'm not gonna make a whole entire island for this video so i thought i could make his um primordial form and I just made it kind of like medieval, trashy, so like people wouldn't expect that it's freaking ego. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now, we're gonna get to another person that was mentioned. We have the Black Panther. The legs are from a Lego No Way Home um, Nick Fury. The torso is from a, and the head is just from a random Black Panther with some Wolverine claws. And this cape is from that, um, back, back that, um, 50 piece cape piece on Amazon that I mentioned in a previous video. Yeah, Black Panther was mentioned to us given, given Thor the, that, um, sword, the, um, All Father sword in the final battle. So while he wasn't seen, he was a pretty big part of the final battle, considering the fact that he gave Thor his weapon as a gift. And I'm, and I'm deciding to make this version of the Black Panther T'Chaka, T'Challa's son. I mean, father. Just because I think it would be cool to see a Black Panther that's T'Chaka still. Yeah, that's basically it for that custom. My mind went blank for a second. Next up, we're going to get to a character that wasn't mentioned. We have Moon Knight. The legs are from... The legs, arm, and hood piece are from a Moon Knight mini... Are from the Moon Knight minifigure. The torso is from a Lego Ninjago movie, um, Woo. And this... The head it is just a simple head that's been on at least seven different minifigures, like Loki and Lex Luthor. Then we're going to give him the moon pieces from the moon crescent pieces from his minifigure. Just give him a white skirt piece and a harder white cape. You can really just use any white cape. I decided to give him the harder one because I think it looks better. But um, yeah, Moon Knight wasn't mentioned, but I think it would be cool to get like a series or something or like a movie about the 1602 characters and see Moon Knight. I think it would be cool to see how he is in the 1602 universe. But yeah, that's basically for this custom. Now we're probably going to the most boring and rushed minifigure. We have Black Widow. The legs are just some... Um, dual molded black and gray pieces with a black piece with a black hip piece the torso is faded but it's from a palpatine minifigure with just some tan arms and black hands then we're gonna add this some um, wonder woman head head with the barbara gordon lego batman movie hair piece and a lego kai from the lego ninjago movie t thing with a sword and then you're just gonna give her two knives. The knives represent daggers, basically, to replace some of her, like, baton things. And I give her a sword because most of the people in the episode, even know that there were guns, use swords. For some reason, I don't know why. I literally saw a Happy Ho- The only person who really used a gun was Happy Hogan. Not even the Winter Soldier used a gun. He used, a, like, an auto crossbow. And yeah, this is probably the most boring and rushed. But let me know what you think.
And yeah, that's basically it for Black Widow. And now we're gonna get to the last person who was mentioned. We have Hawkeye. So um, we're, so the legs are from a Wenwu minifigure or Mandarin minifigure from the Shang-Chi line of sets. I'm gonna take a Garmadon torso piece with a black arm and a black hand and a tan arm and a black and a black hand. Then we're gonna give him the Lego Iron Dragon from the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure torso just because it has the quiver and a shoulder piece and I think it looks very good. And we're just gonna take this random headpiece and this hair piece that's from that I got from the Lego Batman from the Batman movie line of sets, aka the most recent Batman. Then you just give him a black bow and an arrow. Yeah, Hawkeye was mentioned during that fight between Happy Hogan and the Yellow Jackets and Rogers Hood and his Merry Men, along with Captain Carter. He was mentioned, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, he was mentioned when Bucky was using that auto crossbow to um, shoot Happy Hogan. -y. He said, and I quote, Barton says, sends his regards. So yeah, I just thought that was a cool detail that they said, showing that perhaps Happy Hogan, like, killed Clint Barton, maybe. And I just thought that was really cool and decided to make Merry Men Hawkeye. And yeah, that's just really cool how they made it such attention to detail. And But yeah, that's basically it for the mini figures for this video. I know this was a quick video. But you see, I had this idea this morning when I woke up, and I just thought it was a cool idea so much that I decided to make a video about it. But let me know what you think about these custom 1602 minifigures. Let me know what you would have changed about them, and just let me know how you think. Like, subscribe, and share this with friends. And peace.